Yes. <laughs> this is <laughs> this, this is, is all you got. You this, know? <laughs> this is the one cool thing I do. And <laughs> I think that right now, starting FOD, Zane versus SFOB is going to be a very fun set. SFOB is used to Marth. Has gotten set wins, I believe, on Kadoran of last all year, people. Yeah, last year he beat Kadoran and Mewtwo King of all people. Yeah, there is no one else that you can prep for for Zane. Kadoran <laughs> is that step. If you can beat him, You've got, your, that's the best shot you're going to get to know. Right, those are the other two uh, Marth mains in recent history who have cracked the top 10. Yeah, and that's why looking so comfortable, oh. but wow! Man, nobody's too good to just rip a tip or something. <laughs> uh, Learn that one from Ghidorah. Shades of throwing <laughs> one thick out here. Just barely not going to do it there with yeah. the up air. The benefit of Fountain of Dreams there, and Zane returns with that Marth Fair. He basically uses it as an aerial shield, of just whacking away the Fox consistently. I think a big thing we need to see from the set, if SFOP is going to take it, is he needs to grab the momentum early. Uh, just because I feel like Zane, with all of the Fox experience he has, he's going to adjust really quickly. He's going to have more tools, more answers to what SFOP can do. And so. Yeah. This is not what you want to yeah. see uh, if you're an SFOP fan, of course. Right, I mean, SFOP is a player who, who you know, makes his, his living off of breaking people's ankles, right? He's really fast, really in people's faces. But Zane, so disciplined, so, like, clinical in the way that he approaches neutral. Zane has fought the fastest of them. Pardon me? Zane has fought the fastest among them. Like, oh. So he, he's like, you're, my, ankle, my ankles are steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these... Uh, the other thing one we don't talk enough about with Zane it's just kind of like, he has like uh, an intensity to him that you don't expect from kind of his like sort of jovial, sort of funny personality. Where like I was talking to him yesterday because I was doing a block in the morning and a block in the night. And I said, how do you like maintain that kind of stability all the way through? And he's like, I just play all day. I just play 12 <laughs> hours a day. And he kind of was like staring me right in the face. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy, this guy's uh, on a different level than me. No, Zane wants to win. He really does. More than like anything. I mean, he's... he's a man who's willing to do what it takes to, to be the best. And it's clearly paying off for him. Yeah. There's a reason why Zane on the come up. Zane is one of those very few people to ever break into this echelon, let alone get number one in the world, holding that title for practically years um, uh, during our during our little online stint. And now, <laughs> like, he has been killing it. Going to Dreamland, though, s wants more space. I mean, that makes sense. Zane can feel suffocating to play against. And that's the thing is I feel like Zane actually does fantastic on this stage a lot of the time. Yeah. I feel like in some ways, th this is it's, it's a tall order to beat Zane in this matchup in particular. And I feel like he's got a way of making every stage feel like slightly good for Marth, which is kind of crazy because I think what Dreamland is, is rough in some spots. I mean, this is like the classic counter pitch in this matchup, right? Yeah. Because uh, Marth wow. been, historically has had a harder time finding kills. And maybe he said Zane's punish game was just so much to deal with that I need something to stop the, the bleeding a little bit. Oh, dead. De these up throw up bees have been ridiculous. Zane introduces these new aspects to his punish game. Like, I feel like every top eight, I see him go, oh, that's something Fantastic. I've never seen Zane do before. I mean, he's got a lot of time to do it. If he's playing exactly. 12 hours, 12 hours a, day. a day. No, he's locked in. When, when half that time's against Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I do also want to speak to Zane's defense right now. We just saw two moments, a crazy recovery and the SCI and the up air. There were moments that every other Marth player dies there and Zane doesn't. And yeah. SFOP is not going to be used to someone where he's like, damn, I have to work this hard just to close out the stock. Like, it is it is a very different world against Zane. <laughs> Double Zane up tilt does and not the have Kimber. to work as hard, man. Like, uh, it's a mountain. I saw SFOP shaking his head a little bit there. I'd be shaking my head too, man. Two up tilts? I, I never stop shaking silver? my head against Marth, What are we, man. silver like, too? Yeah. This is vicious. Zane's punish game is is probably the best in the world versus Fox. I, I don't think there's another person. Wait, yeah. the, uh, the I don't whiskey. think it's a probably about it, man. You no, know, no, not even as Marth. I'm just saying as a player, when I see him get a Fox like this, it's like, oh, you're just not allowed to live anymore. Honestly, we were saying- Oh my or... God, what a steal! Before the set started, we were talking about how Zane is really the only player now, even in spite of like uh, Cody's uh, dominance and stability, Zane is the only one that feels like he has that kind of like armada consistency where there's just certain people he just does not lose to. It doesn't feel like he has like the same kind of matchup holes in his gameplay. And obviously he could still drop sets to the very best, but like he's just crazy dominant. There is, there is a reason why no one Dude. touches the king. 
Yeah, you can, you can tell that Zane's starting to feel himself yes, a little bit. Really yeah, no, he's vibing right now. Because Zane generally so disciplined, I so movement-based, and Dead really down. doesn't swing a whole lot, but you see the sword coming out. Oh, no, Zane's got that stylish right side to him. He he loves showing what he can do, what he's capable of, and like it's just it's apparent. Throw out dancing blades right. now. <laughs> he's like, I wasn't winning hard enough. I need you to know it. Which is yeah. crazy because like you juxtapose that to his Twitter feed where he's saying stuff like Plop Tua, and you just it's a very different world. Well, like Zayn in game versus Zayn out of game. I don't know if that was up to him. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. But even that, how he lives on Moki's Twitter and how Moki lives on his. There's definitely uh, an interesting uh, dynamic there. Zane's a goofy little guy who happens to play 12 hours of LA. <laughs> yeah, a goofy little guy who will kill you. Like, yeah. I will literally destroy you. Yeah. Uh, a goofy go little assassin. A goofy little man. Who, that goofy goes to sleep, though, dude. Oh, He's I'm bad. Dare! Oh. Made SFOP think that he had a chance of coming back and was like, I'm sorry. And now SFOP trying to keep this game even once again, but... <laughs> Zane introduces these new things up 2-0. Fine, just like, yeah, no, you're not ready for this option either, by the way. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. This is, this is just insult to injury, man. Oh my god, what a way Dare. to play the corner situation. F throw, too. down tilt. And does Zane find the end of this? Yes. Again, grabbing that ledge. Consistent greatness from Zane. <laughs> and counter. Honestly, honestly terrifying. That slide off up yeah. air, like. It says, just like the kings of old, dude, I will also dude. counter. <laughs> oh, catching that up B there, that panic from S5. Dude, what a Dare! Up oh air! my god, Zane. Up B! I didn't know we were watching And Friends 5. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> just makes, uh. makes it look easy. Makes some of the best players in the world look free. This is a player who made people switch off their character multiple times to Sheik and other counter picks. Made like, people switch off the best the character, best character in the game. It's said, I can't beat him like this. Look at what he does to us, to the field. Yeah, it is. Guys, I think I think we got the big bad wolf. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's silencing, man. Like I don't even know what to say. It just feels a. Uh... Uh, GG's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah good, it, good luck and losers, there, brother. <laughs> great set, man. You played, you played really solid. Yeah, you might hold in. I oh got the, my god, the super S match. Uh, that's tough. That is our summer rank number one. That is the guy gunning for best in the world this year, and he's showing he means business. And it's frustrating because like sets like that don't exhibit time, just time. how good Esfop is. He is a, such an amazing player. And it's just hard to show that when you are halfway through a combo. As one of the greatest ever said, there's levels. I guess. And Zane is a level above the crowd, a level above the rest. That's, yeah. It was crazy. I don't know. Like, all that said, you know, I think Zane, you know, is not untouchable. As much as we saw a pretty disturbing. First to ten, uh, a little <laughs> while ago. That doesn't mean we haven't seen some kind of crazy uh, sets, you know, like a tipped off with Mango. A dark got day for America. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, I know. It was, it, it physically hurt at times, but it, you know, I think that's also just the matchup. Like as a Falco player, like sometimes Marth just kind of messes you up. Like there's there's no way around it. So, but we're talking about we're getting ahead of ourselves. We got HBox, Mango. This is what we were setting up earlier.